Hey guys. Well, today I got another bad day of news story for you. Now, I'm going back to the holidays. Back then, there was always a banana Christmas party. Growing up, the wise guys always had Christmas parties in their social clubs. Whether Sparrow had a party in his social club, whether other wise guys had parties, George and Chico have a party, there was always Christmas parties in social clubs. And you will walk in there if you were a kid and they would stake you and they would give you a couple of dollars for your pocket and they would hand out gifts. Now, I remember this particular Christmas party, a Bonanno crime family Christmas party. Frankie Lino was throwing a party at the 2020 on 28th Avenue and 86th Street, the 2020 Club. Now, Frankie Lino was a captain in the Bonanno crime family. Tommy Karate actually reported to Frankie Lino. That was his captain. And then eventually Tommy Karate became an acting captain. But back then we were having beefs with the Bay Parkway kids all the time. And Anthony Basile was a part of their crew. He was friends with them. So Anthony Basile would hang out with them and we would see him at the Christmas parties the Bonanno Christmas parties, because Anthony Basile was real close with little Robbie Lino and Frankie Lino. Robbie Lino was a wise guy in the Bonanno crime family, and Anthony Basile was trying to get straightened out. Now, the last time I saw Anthony Basile was in federal prison. Me and him were in MCC together in 93, and we became pretty good friends. We weren't friendly Back then, he was a part of the Bay Parkway kids, and I was a part of the Bad Day View crew. So we really didn't like each other, but at the Christmas parties, we were cordial, and we always said hello to each other. Now, Paulie G always had a chip on his shoulder when it came down to the Bay Parkway kids. He never liked them. He always had a beef with this guy, Richard Greaves, and Richard Greaves was around the Bay Parkway kids. Eventually they killed Richie Greaves. But getting back to these Christmas parties, all the wise guys would come there. Tommy Karate would walk in. Frankie Lino would be there with his crew, little Robbie Lino, uh, the kid Anthony Kenny. And we would go there with Joe Bonanti, Paulie G, Fabrizio Reynolds. And we would say hello to these guys kiss them hello, and be friendly with them. So this is how all the guys got to know each other. And you had to be respectful towards each other because if you didn't show respect, that was not nice. Eventually, there would be, you know, words thrown on you if you weren't respectful. And I remember when Sparrow and Big Frank Porco came to the party, me, and Paulie G bought them both two bathrobes. And in the bathrobes, we put $1,000 each. And we did the same thing for Frankie Lino. And Frankie Lino used to be a funny guy. He used to joke about everything. He was a real jokester, but he was a serious character. And at this party, a lot of the wise guys Frankie Lino, eventually one day, I remember Eddie Lino walking in with a friend too of his, and he was there. And I said, hey, Eddie, how, how you doing? How's everything? Remember me, little Georgie? And I was talking to Eddie, and Eddie was always a guy you could talk to. He would walk in, and he would take control of the room, and he would laugh too, and have a good time and make jokes about certain things. But hanging out with these guys, I got to know them. And every so often, I would pass by Frankie Lino's social club on Avenue U. And there would always be characters in there. But these guys had a lot of power. And growing up, we looked up to them. 
If they needed anything done, we were at their disposal. We wanted to do favors for them. We wanted to show we were capable of doing things, making money, even if we had to commit a murder. And this is what Paulie G always wanted to be a gangster. And we followed his lead and we thought that we were gonna go all the way to the top. But in the end, as you know, man makes plan and God laughs. It wasn't what we expected from John Polio getting murdered to little Georgia Adamo getting murdered to Chestnut getting murdered, Michael Morola getting murdered, and eventually Paulie Galino getting murdered and a few other people in the neighborhood overdosed and got murdered. But as a kid, you put yourself around these guys and you wanna be just like them. That was my mistake in my life. If only my mom and dad would have stayed together, who knows, I might have had a different direction. So the moral to this story is be involved in your children's lives, give them direction, tell them to go to school, tell them to take a trade and become something. Because following guys in the street is a dead end. If I look at all the characters that I just named, some of them died in prison, some of them died in the witness protection program, and some of them are still in prison, and some of them were murdered. So this life is very short. You get a little run, maybe five to 10 years of making money and living a lifestyle where you think you're a movie star, where they're rolling out the red carpet. But in the end, the life is very short and it don't last long. Eventually, you know your friends are gonna betray you and you're either getting killed or going to prison or cooperating. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Thank you for all my love that you give me. I'm sending it back to you. And until next video, hopefully I'll be seeing you guys soon. Love you guys. Stay strong. God first. Peace out. Bye.